Sitting home all alone Door was started ringing Heard somebody singing So I went to open up the front door Just a few years ago There stood a little preacher Old and frail Smiling back at me When he talked He had a rhythm to his voice Just like he was about to sing Just a few years ago Boy, how you say Do you go to church I said I'm a church member but it's been a long time all I ever do is work God wants us to worship together that's what the good books say I've got one more question that I want to ask before I leave today Would your church be open this Sunday if you had the only key? Would everybody be standing outside saying where in the world could he be? Would it only be open on Easter, homecoming on New Year's Eve? Would your church be locked up tight this week if you had the only key? My brother, you had the only key. Day I got right with the Lord, put my Savior first. Cause it's more than just religion, but belonging to a blood ball church. We've all got to worship together as a one big family. And though it's been years, I still can hear what that preacher said to me. And I can still hear the preacher say, Would your church be open this Sunday? If you had the only key Would everybody be standing outside Saying where in the world could he be Would it only be open on Easter Homecoming on New Year's Eve Would your church be locked up tight this week If you had the only key My brother, you had the only key Would your church be open this Sunday If you had the only key Would everybody Standing outside saying, where in the world could it be? Would it only be open on Easter, homecoming on New Year's Eve? Would your church be locked up tight this week? You had the only key. My brother, you had the only key. I hear the preacher talking. That's an interesting question. Would your church be open this Sunday if you had the only key? That was by Tim Lovelace, and I'm Dave Rigg. This is the Gospel Time program, and during this half hour, it's going to be my privilege to bring to you the Gospel of Jesus Christ in song. Our next one is from the Northman. It's called Live My Life. I wonder just what's in store for me, but I know that I am safe as long as I rest in you, for you already know what the future 
Set them free, but please don't allow me to forget just where you brought me from. But remind me, Lord, just where I. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 15, God's word says, For this is what the high and lofty one says, He who lives forever, whose name is holy. I live in a high and holy place, but also with him who is contrite and lowly in spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. Would you pause just a moment with me for a word of prayer? Our holy and righteous Heavenly Father, we pause just a moment today to thank you for loving us and sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to save us. Father, we do come humbly to you, asking that you fill us with your Spirit in a more powerful way, and revive our hearts, and stir our spirits to work for your glory in our lives today. We ask this in the name of Jesus, and amen. Sweetest name. 
to Genesis with Dr. John Morris, scientist and geologist at the Institute for Creation Research. Dr. Morris, I saw on TV that that huge desert in India used to be a well-watered region. Could this be true? Chris, this possibly is true. We see the same sort of evidence in the Sahara Desert. By using infrared subsurface scanners, they can see ancient riverbeds which have totally dried out and now are covered by sand. The Bible indicates that the world before the flood was a wonderful well-watered planet but that was destroyed by the flood of Noah's day. Following the flood came the Ice Age, during which all the northern regions, like up in Europe or Canada, were under ice. But the lower regions were much more temperate. Even the Sahara Desert would have been a flowering garden. This all changed as the Ice Age came to an end, and that was just a few thousand years ago. Chris, the evidence that we see in geology and geography and agriculture, it all fits with that back to Genesis picture. For more on creation, visit our website at icr.org. And our music continues now with the Isaacs, the one I'm dying for. You're listening to Gospel Time. All the truth 
So honor the Lord and serve Him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols your ancestors worshipped when they lived beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt. Serve the Lord alone. But if you are unwilling to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates? Or will it be the gods of the Amorites in whose land you now live? But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. The people replied, we would never forsake the Lord and worship other gods. For the Lord our God is the one who rescued us and our ancestors from slavery in the land of Egypt. He performed mighty miracles before our very eyes. As we traveled through the wilderness among our enemies, he preserved us. Joshua chapter 24, verses 14 through 17. From the Holy Bible, New Living Translation. This is Gospel Time, a radio ministry. We depend upon your prayers and financial support to keep us on the air in your area and on your favorite radio station. If you'd like to help us, write to us at Gospel Time, Box 68, Bone Gap, Illinois, 62815. Write us today. Now on Gospel Time, it's hymn time. Oh, Lord, my God. When I in awesome wonder Consider all the worlds the hands have made I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder Thy power throughout the universe displayed then sings my soul, my Savior God to be. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to be. How great Thou art. Far 
first glades I wander And hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees When I look down from lofty mountains grand new And hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze Then sings my soul, my Savior God to be. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to be. How great Thou art. Simple question, simple answer. Yes or no. Either you do or you don't. But how do you find real peace? Payne Stewart found it. But he didn't find it on the golf course. Payne Stewart found peace when he found Jesus Christ. He became a close friend. He talked every day with Jesus, took his advice, even started to act like him. And Payne Stewart found peace. Peace that goes beyond understanding. Peace that changed his life. Everyone saw the difference. The Bible says in John chapter 14 that you find peace when you love Jesus and do what he says. John chapter 14. Love plus obedience equals peace. peace. Find it when you find Jesus. His peace is for real. Answers from the Bible and the Daily Devotional Guide, Our Daily Bread. what I call good old gospel singing. That was from the Palmetto State Quartet, and I'm getting ready to go. Next stop, Cleveland, Ohio. Excuse me, how long until we get to Paris? Uh, Ma'am, this train goes from New York to Chicago. I'm sure this train is going to Paris, otherwise I wouldn't have boarded it. Lady, there is no train from New York to Paris. Well, I believe we are going to Paris. Excuse me, did you say we're going to Paris? No, we're going to Chicago. But I believe we're going to Paris. You believe we're going to Paris? I didn't pack for Paris. It doesn't matter what she believes, trust me. She believes one thing and you believe another, but we're on the same train. You can't both be right. Yeah, but she looks really sincere in what she believes, so we're going to need passports. And he's paid to believe what he believes. Look, this has nothing to do with who believes what. This train is going to Chicago. He's not very open-minded. 
We must be going to Paris. You know, some say that there are many ways to get to heaven, but Jesus said he's the only way, and he left no middle ground. So do you believe him or reject him? A message from Lifeline Productions. Here's one from the Booth Brothers, and this is called Have a Little Talk with Jesus. Have you had a talk with Jesus yet today? Hmm? Have you been praying? Hope so. You're listening to Gospel Time. I couldn't face the morning, so I climbed right back in bed. The problems and the pressures, they were running through my head. Then I felt the spirit of whisper, child, you've been right here before. Every burden can be lifted when you give them to the Lord. So I had a little talk with Jesus, and I told Him all about my trouble. That's all the time they're going to give us for today's Gospel Time program. A reminder that Gospel Time stays on the air in your area and on your favorite radio station because of your prayers and your financial support. If you'd like to help us, here is our mailing address. It's Gospel Time, Post Office Box 68, Bone Gap, that's B-O-N-E-G-A-P, Bone Gap, Illinois, and our zip code is 62815. Thanks for listening to our program today. Until our next radio broadcast, if the Lord's willing, this is Dave Rigg asking the Lord to richly bless you.